I'm Grump. I'm not so Grump. And we're the Game Grumps. Hello. Hey, welcome back. Oh my God. Dan's in a good mood. Oh, I'm in a great mood. All of a sudden, we we put it out on Twitter. Um, what the name of uh, that Nintendo song that I couldn't remember was? It's from Solomon's Key, which I don't even remember that game. But like, as soon as like. As soon as Aaron said, Solomon's key, like, something unlocked in me, and I was like, ooh, that could be it. <laughs> Much like a key and a lock? Yeah, so, like, it's like 55 seconds into the Solomon's key theme, but that's it. <laughs> oh, it just yeah. brought me crazy back to like that's awesome fifth you, grade. You, you like slapped me the hardest you've ever. <laughs> it's like because <gasps> <laughs> you were so excited. It, you, oh you just man, heard it and you were like, that's it. Yeah, that's crazy. Because I mean, like that's something that like I've been wondering. I mean, not just like long since before Grumps, but like long since before like the internet existed and Twitter and like all these things. So the fact that, you know, the 25 years of technology that have emerged since that song came out, uh, helped me remember it is pretty amazing. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah, I thought it was, I thought it was Solstice because Solstice and Solomon's Key have a similar name. That's, that's what must have clicked sense. in my brain. Yeah. Or, yeah, the SOL. Holy shit, that's nuts. Yeah, so thank you to all of the Twitter folks that, uh... Yeah! I retweeted the one that we saw, uh, so... Right. You can go Th and check that one. Thank you, um... Thank you, everyone. Yeah, someone- someone had said Blades of Steel, uh, which was close. Uh, like, a lot of- a lot of things were close. A lot of things kinda sounded a little yeah, bit yeah. like that. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I- I honestly thought it was Ninja Gaiden, the way you were... Yeah. That, that part, the da na 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 it's, it's so, like, Ninja Gaiden 2. It, it is. It is. I have a respect for Ninja Gaiden music, especially after, um, Super Guitar Brothers did their, uh, Oh, yeah, it's so proggy. Oh, like, my God. Yeah, oh, it's so, so good. I love the fuck- I love- all of them, even the third one has good music, and it's- I mean, it's not the best, but... So the- so good. Yeah, I just adore Nintendo music and, um, early 90s, like, Super Nintendo music and stuff. Cause... Uh, well, it's so, it's so simplistic. Yeah. And, and it's- we were talking about this the other night, like, it's- it's- it's art from limitations. Right. And then because those limitations existed, that art form exists now, so it'll always exist for the rest of time. Right, well, that's- that's what, um... That- those were Brent Weinbach's words. He was like, uh... It's it's an art form that uh, developed out of the limitations of the time. Right. And and he actually said the opposite. He was like, it's it's a genre that doesn't really exist anymore because people have so many quote unquote better sounding things at their disposal. Well, well that's sort of true, but also like it wouldn't exist. Period. If it weren't for the limitations, right? right? And right. there are still people that are writing songs with those limitations. That's true. Um, there's tons of chiptunes artists out there. Yep. And it, it's- it's the same thing for me, it's like the same thing with pixel art, like... Pixel art wouldn't exist if it weren't for that we didn't have the technology to make, like, proper graphics at the time. Um, and so, like, now that we can make fucking photorealistic Uncharted 4 graphics, we can still do pixel art and people can still appreciate it because it once existed. Right, right. Like, if it just came out of nowhere one day, people would be like, what the f- why does this blocky-ass shit? Yeah, yeah, Like, what you- think you Picasso or some shit? Yeah. Do you remember, like, those, um, like, early, early digitized things? Like, they used to do it at, like, the mall near my house, um, and- and carnivals and stuff. Like, they'd take a picture of you, and they'd digitize it, but this is, like, mid-80s, so, like, the printers they were using were, like, the- Yeah. You know, that. And, like, it would be you, but, like, it would be, like, literally, like, chunky rectangles making up your face. Do you know yeah, what I'm talking yeah, about? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. M my- my friend and his brother had, like, a wanted poster like that, like, of- <laughs> of their two faces, and I was like, I don't want to fucking- I want to be in the future. I want future pictures. <laughs> well, pre-pixel art was, like, was, like, uh, what's the word? You know when you, like, sew shit? And it's just in- in blocks just because that's how sewing works? Like, quilting? Uh, yeah, like, knitting. Yeah, yeah. Um, so, like, you know, it was just strands going back and forth, and if it were th thick strands, they'd come out like squares. So if you wanted to, like, 
knit a design into a crochet. Crochet, yeah. right, right. That's what I was thinking of. Um, so that's like proto pixel art. Solomon's fucking key, bro. <laughs> God damn it! I'm so happy. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, man. God. And you know who else is happy? Who's that? Uh, the person who brought us this episode. Oh right. Uh, Fox Tastakilla. Put that on the screen. Fox Tastakilla! Uh, is the sponsor of today's Game Grumps episode because they donated thank to you. Uh, Healing Horse Therapy Center during our Healing Horse Charity Stream. Thank you for doing so that. So thank you for donating. Um, and you get a mention. If you too would like to be mentioned, then join us on a stream and we'll probably give that away. Yeah. Because it doesn't take up that much time, and it's for a good cause. People get helped, horses get helped. Well. I, I mean, I guess the horses get help because they have, like, jobs. Yeah, and they, like, get pet. <laughs> oh, yeah, they get pet. Yeah. Well, believe me, those horses get fucking pet. I can't, it, <laughs> those are pampered-ass horses. Can you tell with horses, like... I mean... If they're into it? Yeah. Yeah, you can. You, you're cool. Yeah. I mean, of course, they're fucking advanced, complex animals, but, like... Yeah, horses are cool, you know? I, I, I appreciate them. I'm not, like, hugely a big fan of horses. Mm -hmm. But, uh, they're pretty sweet. You know, I can appreciate what they're- what they're putting out in the world, you know? And plus my mom likes them, so they can't be that bad. Yeah, that's true. Cause my mom's a cool lady. She is. She knows what's up. She- she raised a son that would fucking kill people on a ferris wheel by rolling them up. No problem. That is circumstantial, though. The I feel like anybody city. would if they were in this position. <laughs> I feel like It has nothing to do with my- I feel like anyone would. If they were in my shoes. Yeah, it really has nothing to do with my characteristics personally. It's just that what's presented to me. You know, it's like, it's like that I Ching kind of fucking, uh, what is it, the Art of War bullshit, where it's like, hold a, ha hold a man over the mountain, or hold a, ha hold a man over the volcano, and then you'll truly meet the man, or whatever. Right. I don't know but if that was teach a man to fall into a volcano, <laughs> and you'll, and he'll die he'll forever. know how to fish. <laughs> is that right? I don't know. I I, that quote right. I gave is, honestly, I've never read Art of War, so that's what I heard of it from Firefly, so maybe that's not a real oh. quote from Art of War. Noted. But, uh... He claimed it was a quote from Art of War, so I'm just gonna say... Yeah, let's go with that. that it was Nathan Fillion War, wouldn't lie to us. Well, it was, um... Uh... What is it? Ron Glass? I said Nathan Fillion wouldn't lie to us. Alright. So you don't refute that statement All in right. any way. No, no. I, I think he's handsome. I think he's beautiful. That, that man is Castle! <laughs> is he, he is. Castle? Does he play a man named Castle? Yeah. Castle? Yeah. Okay, good. Yeah. Uh, I've never actually watched Castle. Oh, Castle's great. Is it good? Um, it's on its last season. Holy shit. Yeah, it's over. Fuck. So... Well... It's a good show, though. I mean, like I if, missed if the you, boat. If you like Law and & Order and also like comedy, then it's a great show for you. Because it's basically Law & Order, but with, like, a comedy twist. Yeah, he's a good comedian. He's got good timing. Yes, absolutely. I also like his, um... His embracing of the nerd world. Yeah, yeah. Like, he seems to be into it. He we should is. try to get him on the show, man. I, um, would probably die. Would you really have excitement? Uh, well, yeah. Honestly, so I, I actually had an opportunity to meet him. No shit. Um, he, he, here's the kind of person that I am, right? So, I had the opportunity to meet him super casually. Mm -hmm. It was just like, I, I was just at a friend's house and he was like, Oh yeah, Nathan Fillion's coming over the, uh, tomorrow, you should come. Holy shit. And I was like, You know, I'm gonna turn that down. Because I'm too much of a fan. Yeah, you want it too much. Yeah. Yeah, it wouldn't be cool. So, I You'd would- You'd be like, Do you have sex? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Fill me in, Fillion! <laughs> so, I, I turned it down, yep. um, and I don't regret it, because I think I would have made an ass out of myself. You probably wouldn't have, but like, I, I know you personally, and like, I know how you think about stuff, and like, even if the exchange was perfectly awesome, you would have felt uncool. Because you cared so much, yeah. you know. So yeah, so there you go. So let's get him on the show. That's why the perfect guest for Game Grumps is fucking Gordon Ramsay because like, I respect him a lot, but I'm not like a crazy fan. Yeah, and if you know? he yells at you for being an asshole, you'll be even more excited because you'll be like, I'm getting yelled at by Gordon. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's just kind of like I appreciate everything that he does and stuff, but I'm not like, oh man, I watched you and I cried and I like, cried. And like you're my hero, and uh, it's just kind of like, oh man, I really like your stuff. You're 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 an inspiration, and I respect you. Fair enough. Um, Whoa, is he even you the lava because you sucked so hard? Yeah. Whoa. I really sucked on that stage. I thought you did fine. I know. 
Well, I thought I did too. That's what happens. Shit. Oh, shit. not good. I'm gonna go ahead and. Uh, the S is bad. Ooh, the S is so watch bad. Out, watch out! Watch <laughs> out! Watch out! Oh shit! I'm a tiny person now. You sure the fuck watch are. Watch out! Watch out! Get in there! Woo! Oh, ah, whoa, like them whoa. Apples. nicely done. Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh, oh god! Shit. Oh, you're fucked. <laughs> Well, you know what? Next time on Game Grumps. Um, all right. Still proud of you. Thank you. Still hashtag Thank proud. You love so you. Nice. So nice. Love you. Home berm, merch, merch, berg. All right. <laughs> <laughs> My God. <laughs> Go ahead and put that in somewhere.